As a retired medical scientist, Peter Breeden knows all about the mechanics of life and had no hesitation agreeing to join a trial combining two existing drugs when he was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Once I'd been told I'd got cancer, I sort of wanted this parasitic entity, this alien thing, out of me. And you just sort of focus in on this fact that life is coming to an end. After surgery and the two-drug trial, Peter beat the odds and is here to tell the tale seven years later. So far, so good. You know, it, it's, it, it's been treated and at the moment I don't have any cancer that we know about. Because most cases are only diagnosed when they're advanced, pancreatic cancer has the lowest five-year survival rate, just 3%. For patients able to have surgery and chemotherapy, that rises to 16%. But this latest trial, where post-op patients had a combination of two drugs, saw that survival rate almost double to 29%. For pancreatic cancer, where the outcomes have been so stubbornly low, this is a massive breakthrough and a massive step forward. Um, so it's essential that the NHS brings this forward to be the new standard of care for those, for those patients. Clinical guidelines for the NHS based on this trial are being drawn up, due to be published next January. To have been part of a trial that has shown a big improvement in the five-year survival rate, I'm very grateful to them all, you know, for, for, uh, for the fact that I'm still here. <laughs> so that's it. You know, I'm very happy that I'm, I'm healthy. For a cancer that historically has been so difficult to treat, there is now hope that patients will get something priceless. More time. Peter Lane, 5 News.